Good morning, sir. Good morning. Where are other walkers? Sir, they have not yet come. And what is time? Is 8.30, sir. Okay, I will be in my office. Okay, sir. Very good. I have finished sweeping and mopping everywhere. Now let me face my work. Good morning, sir. Why are you the one sweeping and mopping? And where's Cleaner? Sir, she is not here yet. And the manager? Sir, manager is not yet here. Okay, please help me check time. Sir, is 8.30. You can now go. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Hey, when did you come to work today? Sir, is 9 o'clock. Okay, and you, manager? Sir, something happened on my way, so I couldn't come on time. I'm sorry. Okay, see me in my office. Sir, you called me. Yes. Bring me the quotation I gave you yesterday. I hope you have completed it. I'm sorry, sir. It remains small. What do you mean? Simple thing. I gave you since yesterday. You couldn't finish. Till now. And they are asking for it. Go and bring them to me. Let me do it myself. Sir, I'm sorry. Get out of my office. Can you imagine? Simple thing. I gave her since yesterday to do. She abandoned it till now. And I told her how urgent the quotation is. Yet she abandoned it. What kind of incompetent manager is this? She doesn't come to work on time. And when she do, she don't care to know what is going on in the company. I think I know what to do. Secretary, your manager is not yet here I'm running out of time. And, your director asked me to come and meet her. Why is manager of a big company like this, not yet here by this time? And why did your director, choose a serious person, as a manager of his company? Sir, I'm sorry, she will soon be here. So, you people think, I don't have something doing. Nonsense. Where is my customer? Sir, he has left. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my manager? Sir, she is not yet here. So she make me lose the money I suffer to secure. When she come, tell everyone to come to meeting hall. I have an announcement to make. Thank God, everybody is present. I want to announce it to everybody hearing that from today on, the manager of this company is Vivian. Me, me, me. Vivian, you have been promoted to managing director of this company. So, I encourage you to do your best. And I want everybody here to give her, to give her respect due to manager. Am I understood? So the reason you are doing, as if you are a good person, is to steal my position. But, let me warn you to give it up, or, I will make life miserable for you. I hope, you understand what I mean. If you did not reject that position, is you, and me in this world. I will make sure, you die, before your time. What did I do? You heard me, if you don't want to die, give it up. But, I never ask our director to give me the position. <laughs> Do I look like a child you want to deceive? You thought I don't know you are pretending to be a good person, so that you will steal my position. But I'm sorry, I am not the kind. Give it up, or die. Nonsense. I'm not the one that give myself the position. And I did not ask our director to give me her position, so why is she trailing me? Oh God, what do I do? I don't want to die. God, I thank you for today. <laughs> Give it up or you die. Jesus, what is that noise? Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Or die. Who are you? Jesus, who are you?
<laughs> give it up or die. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up or die. I will. I will. I will. I will. Please don't kill me. Thank God she is gone. I don't want any more. I don't want to die. I must give it up. In fact, I'm not working there again. I can't believe my co-worker is evil person. Vivian, why are you still here? You are not going to work. I'm not working again. Never. Tell me, what is it? Why do you suddenly change your mind? You know how long it took you to secure that job, and you still want to lose it. Grandfather, leave me. I'm not working again. Never. Tell me, what is the problem? One of my co-worker is evil. She came attacking me to give up my managing director position. She trailing to kill me if I refuse. Grandfather, can you believe she appeared to me in my room physically yesterday night? Is that all? Why wouldn't she appear to you when you have show her that you are afraid of her? So you could not rebuke her and show her you are a child of God. Instead, you let her see fear in you. Fear is like paralysis that render the body ineffective. To perform its function, fear is false experiences appearing real. It often makes victim out of a victor. Many have lost opportunities, forfeited rare privileges, and even died before their time due to fear. Those who will win the battle of life must first and foremost overcome fear. Those who make appreciable progress in life are those who, in spite of challenge, fear, and danger, move in faith. Life itself is full of battles and challenges, orchestrated by Satan and his agents. Yet those who have personal relationship with God through salvation in Christ have assurance of His abiding presence and help. We need not fear, for the Lord of Hosts is with us. The God of Israel is our refuge. Now go and rebuke her. You don't run for Satan. Satan run for you, because you are a chosen generation, a peculiar person, a holy nation. Thank you so much, Grandfather. You are welcome. Now I know who I am. So, good lady, have you rejected the position? Get behind me, you agent of darkness. What connection does light and darkness have? I can see you have no fear again. Fear who? My father plays everything he created under me, including you, agent of darkness. Now get behind me. Try appear before me again. And I will call upon fire to consume you. So she is not afraid of me. Where did that courage came from? She used to tremble before me. Now I can no longer harm her because she is now fearless. Hello. Yes, for the true believer whose faith is anchored in God, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God has assured, "I will never leave thee nor forsake thee." Let us have faith in God. To see us through in times of trials. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like, and follow me. God bless you. And remember, faith in God overcomes in any battle of life.